Today I was hoping to do some medieval camping, but it's already four o'clock and it's starting to get very cold. So I think I'll have to do it some other time near the summer or spring. But as for now, I can at least show you what I have for my medieval pack. This is a wool blanket that was sent to me from my Amazon wishlist by uh, someone called Ender Pabs, and it's amazing. I've been using it a lot. It is good as a blanket. It can be a little like picnic like this. It can be used as a cloak or even as a small scale kilt or plaid. It's super versatile and I like it a lot. Thank you again to Ender Pabs for sending me this wool blanket. It's absolutely amazing. And this is how you can make a cloak with it very easily. You can just create it over yourself like this and bring it together to shoulder pieces. And with something like a cloak pin like this, you can very quickly and easily turn this from a wool blanket into a cloak. The next thing I have is this wax canvas backpack. Again, not the most historically, historically accurate thing, but it looks the part and it seems like something a medieval fantasy adventurer would have, so I think it works. Inside, I have some oat cakes and some bannock bread food. I've also got my leg wraps for trekking through uh, tall grasses or thorny bushes and just to keep my legs warm. Some extra cloth. I've also got this folding knife that I forged myself. Works pretty well. One of the first folding knives that I ever made. I've also got this little compass thing for uh, mapping and making circles and all sorts of things. And one of the last things in this main compartment is I've got this little repair kit. This has inside it just some spare cloth and leather, some cordage, and somewhere in here there is a needle and thread, yeah. Just got a small needle and thread. In this side compartment, it's supposed to be for a water bottle, but I don't have a water bottle small enough to fit in that, so I just keep some natural cordage in there. And in this holder right here, I've got a slightly larger cloak pin. Next thing I have is uh, my belt kits. I have two different belts here. One is for my knife and auger. This is kind of like my tool belt. And this is for pretty much everything else that I'd want to keep on my belt. I've got a leather bound notebook here that I do a lot of sketching in. I've got my copper cup. I've got this gathering, expandable gathering bag that I sewed myself, and I've got my flint and steel and fire starting kit. I've got this uh, Robin Hood style hat from an Etsy shop. I'll link them in the description on, of this video down below. And then I've got this linen tunic, which I just got from Amazon, and this wool vest. In this wool vest, of course, I have another knife and then I just got some linen pants. One thing that I've been struggling with is trying to find historically accurate footwear. Because this is what I've got right now, and it's not the most uh, ancient style 
in the world. So if you have any suggestions on where I can find historically accurate footwear, uh, I would love to hear it in the comments. Another layer that I might add if it starts getting too cold is this gambeson. Gambeson wasn't historically much of a uh, coat or insulative thing, but it would have been used as armor. And since it's made of multiple layers of linen and cotton layered over each other a lot, it's going to keep me fairly warm. And it's a nice layer to put over the rest of my linen shirt and wool tunic and wool vest. Once again, thank you to whoever sent whoever sent this to me. This is absolutely amazing, and it's go definitely going into my medieval camping kits. So, this is my entire uh, kit for a medieval camping trip. If I'm missing anything, or you think that there's something else that I would need in this kit, please let me know down in the comments, because I'm not super sure this is everything I'll need, but for now, this is as much as I've got. Thank you for watching, and look for my coloring book, so hopefully coming out on Amazon soon, and as always, have fun.